You are meeting a well-known distributor in the criminal underworld to transport your methamphetamine, Alex Jones. However, his demands are definitely not what you expected. What are you going to choose? Money or friends? Ah, good afternoon. How may I help you? I see you're here for a meeting with Mr. Jones. Can you please state your name and number so I can confirm the appointment? It's our company policy. I apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you kindly, sir. Ah, yes, 4 p.m. I'll let him know you've arrived. One second, please. Mr. Jones, the client for 4 p.m. is here. Are you available? Understood. Mr. Jones is ready to see you now. You really are punctual. Alex Jones, it's a pleasure to meet you. Please, come on in. I hope it wasn't too difficult to find your way through the building. We are in the middle of an expansion, so I can completely understand if the signs were a tad confusing. Our warehouse cannot keep up with the latest development in the market. Since last summer, we have been selling 200% more video game equipment than the previous years. The customers are in love with our newest generation of gaming computers, and the numbers are still growing rapidly. Hence, we need more room to stock our products. Are you perhaps interested in an MSI MEG Trident X? I can promise a 40% discount. Not a gamer yourself, hmm? Such a shame. Our company, Playtora, is more than happy to provide you with only the best of the best, guaranteed. But we're not here to discuss sales deals, are we? Straight to business, indeed. One of your people, who happened to be an old acquaintance of mine, contact me about your proposal. I gave it a lot of thought, and I too can see an opportunity in this potential partnership, but there happened to be a minor issue. Oh no, 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 I am not questioning your cooking skills at all, I am quite familiar with your product, I heard it was impeccable, one of the purest, if not the purest. However, it was not yours to begin with, was it? <laughs> I investigated you thoroughly, as I always do with the people I plan to do business with. After all, our line of work requires a very, very high amount of cautiousness. I can assume that you're aware of that by now, no? Glad to hear that. If I'm not mistaken, the formula for the methamphetamine you manufacture was originally designed by a man named Michael Denver, a former high school chemistry teacher who was presumably murdered by Simone Braga. A very hot topic these days. The news won't broadcast anything else at the moment. What I mean by presumably is that I know who the real culprit is. Simone Braga is just a scapegoat. You orchestrated this theatrical display. Please do not take me for a fool. There is no use in denying it. 
I have my sources here and there. Look, to be very clear, I do not care what motivated you to eliminate your former partner. Trust is almost impossible to obtain within this world. So I declare Mr. Denver naive for not looking over his shoulder. His death is not the problem that I am hinting at. I am talking about another matter, which is connected to this scenario. Detective Robert Duncan, the man who leads the investigation on Michael Denver's incident. <laughs> Come now, you have a terrible poker face. Do not worry. As I previously mentioned, I studied you. And that includes your relationships, past and present. Mr. Duncan has always been present in your life, from kindergarten all the way to high school. What was the term again? Childhood friends. Forgive me, I won't beat around the bush anymore. To put it simply, I want Mr. Duncan out of the picture. Permanently. I am certain that you know what I'm talking about. Your friend is considered a prodigy by many, many people. I read about his rookie days. Mr. Duncan solved some challenging cases. He received various honours at such a young age. And is starting to make a name for himself. Smart, talented and unpredictable, which makes him bloody dangerous. How so? <laughs> well, it will only be a matter of time, and very little time until he discovers that his best friend was the right hand of a drug dealer, or cook, and if we choose to form an alliance before he puts two and two together, and you won't be the only one facing drastic consequences, but me as well, and I cannot allow that to happen. Sir, no fictional story is without its plot holes, and your friend will definitely find those. I do not overestimate his capabilities, not at all. In fact, I think you are the one who underestimates Detective Duncan. Yeah, that's precisely what I mean. Before we decide to cooperate with each other, I want all threats from your previous partnership to be eliminated. Get rid of your friend Robert Duncan. For good. You can't do that. <laughs> Pardon my rudeness, but I am not, by all means, asking for a favour. This is a demand. My only demand. In order for us to work together. <laughs> If you walk through that door, you will never be able to sell another pound in this country, or anywhere else for that matter. I possess samples of your methamphetamine. I have my own lab. With several chemists who can, after some time, deliver me similar results to your product. And from then on, I monopolize the meth business. But, like I said, it's not yours to begin with now, was it? But you can remain as the rightful owner if you fulfill my demand, that is. It is really simple, sir. I want to sell your product ASAP.
my company allows me to nationally and internationally transport methamphetamine. I have customers across the globe. You will make 10, no, 100 times much more money than you can ever imagine. This is a golden opportunity you're willing to pass by because of what? A so-called friend. One person that leads you at crossroads. That one person really worth the trouble. If I were you, I would sit back and take my time to consider this situation very, very carefully. And luckily for you, I'm willing to grant you that time. I want an answer by the end of the week, though. A yes or no, if you want to shake on our future partnership. You've got five days, no more. All right, now, if you would excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. I hope you can find your way out. Good, and I look forward to your decision. Oh, and one word of advice, if I may. Friends and family play no part in this life. They don't understand the wicked ways of our world. They're outsiders. Please, keep that in mind. wondering if you can come to the hospital, like, right now. No, 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 nothing's wrong. Well, not with me, actually. It's my mum. She broke down. The doctor said she had an episode. Yeah, she's resting. She's been sleeping for an hour, but I could really use a shoulder right now. Please. No, she's not here. I, I called Maddie a few times, but she didn't answer her phone. You know my sister. She's probably on some date. But can you come, please? Really? Great. Thanks. That means a lot. I'll see you in a jiffy. Six months. Six whole months. Nothing. Nada. And now this. I don't understand. She was just fine last week as well. She started to scream, then cry, then scream again. One of the nurses got injured because mum had a knife in her hand. During lunch, not too bad fortunately, but still... She broke down. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, now she's back at square one. The doctor said her episode caused a major setback. And the most frustrating thing is they still haven't figured out what is wrong with her. Mental illness, dementia, God knows what. Yeah, I know, it'll be okay, it's just... I really have too much on my plate. My sister is out there chasing men and neglects her daughter completely. Marie lives with me, though, for the time being, but... I can't look after a kid while I'm busy with the Michael Denver case. Oh, trust me, I told Maddy countless times to grow up and start acting like a mother. But you know what I get, whining and two middle fingers. Look, 
don't get me wrong, I love looking after my niece. She's a sweetheart, but she isn't mine, you know. I'm not the one who's supposed to do the parenting. And the entire case is a dead end. Fracker's boys won't talk. Mr. Denver's friends and family are too hysterical about him making drugs, so that's no help, and the commissioner told me to wrap this up within the next three weeks. I've got no leads as of now, and with each passing day, I'm losing evidence. And now this shit with Mum. Ah, oh, I don't know anymore, man. Mum can't stay here forever. The bills are piling up, and... I ain't gonna put her in some psychiatric madhouse, you just need some time, but... We're running out of it. Listen, I may be a detective, but... I'm not loaded, I got my own stuff to pay for as well, and... Mum's health insurance only covers 50% of her treatment. Do you know how much I gotta spend for just two months? Believe me, I'm just barely holding on. Like on a thin thread. The thinnest thread, dude. I need to solve this case. If I do that, I receive a nice bonus. Enough to pay mum's latest hospital bills. I so need that bonus. Sure, sure, justice serves and all that bullcrap, but money is more important right now. So I what? Look, I'm not in the mood for jokes. You're going to pay my mum's hospital bills because a college professor got a few grand on his bank account. Did you win the lottery or something? Save that joke for another day. Yeah, and I'm serious about dropping this. Stop it. You got money from a great uncle who passed away in Switzerland. Damn, good for you now. Stop being silly and cut it out. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a screen, so what? Holy shit! It, it, it's true! That much? No way. No way this is legit. Th these documents, is this, is this the will? $70,000 assigned to you from George Davis, Zurich. What the... No, hell no, man. I, I, I can't take this money. This is too much. You've got to spend it on yourself. It's yours. Are you, are you sure? Like, sure, sure. Like, a hundred, no, a million percent sure. This is a lot of cash. Isn't there something you want to buy with it? You'll earn it back. Sorry to burst your bubble, but this 70k is not going to pop up again anytime soon. Seriously? Alright, wow. Well, I don't know what to say. Can I... Can I give you a hug? No, screw it. I'm going to give you one. Whether you like it or not, come here. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much, for real. You really saved my ass. This means a lot to me. Thank you. All right, I'm 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 gonna go to the bathroom. My eyes all puffed and red, and I've got to fix that. But hey, I, I mean it. Thanks. I really don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, I keep telling that to yourself. I always looked out for you when we were kids. I was your guardian angel, not the other way round. Idiot. <laughs> By the way, do you want something from the vending machine? Okay, one chocolate milk coming right up. I won't take long, just, just like the wind. <laughs>